Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to be having a look at Wide Point Corporation, which has the ticker symbol of WYY. And in this video, I'm going to have a look at the business side of things. So what it actually does, the products it offers, and kind of the market it's in. In my next video, I'll have a look at the financial side of things, where I look at the stock price and their kind of most up-to-date financial information so that you have a complete picture of the company. But let's get right into it. This is WidePoint, and you can actually have a look at this website, and I will leave a link in the description down below so you can go on this website and you can see it for yourself. But I'm just going to kind of summarize what I've found out about this company. Now, they are a telecom mobile cybersecurity company, but none of that really makes much sense if you're not that kind of tech savvy. So they provide end-to-end -end solutions for companies and governments to manage their network security. But not only network security, they also claim to reduce cost and improve efficiency. The best way for me to explain this is to actually give you an example. Let's say that you own a business and it's a tech business. Now, with tech businesses come servers and databases and usually information that you don't necessarily want everybody in the world to know. Now, that could be related to data protection or it could just be intellectual property that you don't want your competitors to know. The whole point is you have stuff that you don't want other people to be able to see. Now, with that comes quite a few challenges, especially kind of how things are working nowadays, where people are working more remote and also your infrastructure might not necessarily be in one particular location. You might need to be able to access it from somewhere else in the world. You might have, for your business, employees in India, you might have employees in China, you also might have employees in the United States spread out all over the world, but they still all need to be able to access this information that you don't want to be accessed by anyone else. Now, that's really, really tricky and quite hard to organize, especially if you have people, let's say, you have someone who works in Croatia. Now, I know I've kind of thrown out a lot of random places across the world, but yeah, let's say you have someone who works from Croatia and they spend a lot of their time in a cafe, sitting on the laptop, accessing your private network through a public network. Security is a really big factor in this. Because it's going through a public network or a public router, someone can monitor the traffic going from your computer to the router to, well, your private network. Another point is that you don't necessarily know which device is connected to your network. Whereas with WidePoint, they use different things to essentially validate one particular device to be able to access this network, which is quite valuable. These are just kind of different layers of security when it comes to protecting your information. And that is really what WidePoint specializes in. It offers a wide variety of different services, but most of it focus around security. Now, when you add all of these kind of layers of security and different kind of protocols, if you don't really know what you're doing, it can start to kind of bundle up and make things really complicated. Whereas when you use WidePoint or a service or a company like WidePoint, they can kind of streamline it a, streamline it a bit, which is why they say they can be helpful in terms of reducing costs and improving efficiency. Because if you don't really know what you're doing, you can end up either doing too much or too little. And if you do too little, then you risk data breaches, which is pretty bad. And if you do too much, you end up kind of wasting resources and you could end up spending a lot of money. Now, WidePoint has two kind of main customer bases. One being kind of enterprises, so large corporations that need to kind of do this sort of thing, protecting their network, protecting their intellectual property and being able to manage and maintain a network architecture that allows people in different parts of the world to access the same information or the information they're allowed to access. They also have a lot of contracts or a lot of business when it comes to the US government. 
it's the same kind of products and it's the same principle where they protect and help set up a protected network and communication system. And when it comes to the US government, I think they're pretty particular when it comes to their security. Now, they are a contract based company. So when they're working with the federal government, they actually have to kind of bid on contracts. But when they have enterprise solutions, they can use the fact that they work for the federal United States government as quite a good branding thing. I mean, it's a pretty good kind of sales point if you say. I mean, we helped set up the United States government's kind of network security thing, so I think we can deal with yours. Now, in terms of the business side of WidePoint, I actually really like the concept of it. It acts as a complete kind of package offering cybersecurity, data analytics, and helping to improve efficiency in telecommunications networks, which is really popular and it is very important, especially as the world's kind of adopting a work remotely lifestyle. Now, there are concerns. Although it does offer a complete package, there is a lot of competition in the individual components, whether that be analyzing the data analytics of a network or just securing it. But yes, that is it. That is WidePoint and that is what they do. They specialize in kind of telecommunications, security and data analytics. I hope my explanation of that did help you understand what that is a bit better. If it didn't, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions, just ask. In my next video, I will have a look at the financial side of WidePoint. So looking at their stock price and kind of their stock information and also their revenue. So their kind of earliest quarter and their annual revenue. So you get that complete picture. That will be released tomorrow, same time this video comes out, just one day later. So if you are interested in that, then please stick around, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you just tap that like button for me. That brings us to the end though. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.